Um, just a couple things I wanted to touch on, and, 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 and you already uh, touched on the main one, uh, uh, Mr. Bradford, and is that we're dealing with what we've been dealt. You know, there's none of us that voted on the Affordable Health Care Act. Uh, at least uh, uh, I don't recall voting on it. Uh, so, so our displeasure with it, and, and I certainly have voiced my displeasure, and, and I would hope that the, the other folks here are talking to our, our representatives on the national level and making clear to them that we'd like some action and some relief. In the meantime, we don't have much choice but to deal with this federal law that is in fact the law of the land. So it, it, my approach or my understanding has always been that by continuing this planning process, we're keeping options open for our Kansans. We may get to the end of this process, and as, as Representative Viviano noted, that the federal plan may turn out to be just a splendid plan that, that, that does a great job of, of uh, uh, meeting the law. And we might decide that the best option for our Kansans is to, is to get on that federal plan. Or there may be a regional plan out there that we decide is much better than what we've been able to come, with, um, come up with. But in order to keep options open for our Kansans, we've got to continue this process. And right now, that's the planning process. And uh, uh, for those who, who don't seem to recall ever talking about any of this, you know, when this was on the floor of the House last year, and, and we talked about approving the appropriation for this first $1 million, I, I distinctly remember uh, that it was pointed out that this money would run out in the fall sometimes. It wouldn't get through the year. Representative Tyler's not in her head, and so, so is Representative Patterson. Maybe everybody didn't hear that debate. And, and it was brought up that there would be, um, uh, uh, not renewals, but there would be subs subsequent grant applications that we'd have to continue to pursue. So that's already always been out there. And, and obviously, at least some folks know uh, that these uh, planning meetings are occurring every other Tuesday and have been since, I guess, uh, June is when they began. And, then, and, and I'm, I'm going to assume that everybody also knows that there's a website that publishes all this data as it's gathered and as it's, as it's sorted and publishes the, the persons that belong to these groups, uh, have been working on these groups, and what the results of that work is. Um, this same uh, uh, traveling roadshow, I guess we can call you, was in the, um, uh, the Joint Public Health uh, uh, Committee, I'm going to say two and a half months ago or so, and gave an update, basically the same report, and reminded everybody that these were public meetings, the steering committee meetings, the work group meetings, and encouraged at that time uh, 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 representatives uh, to, to uh, 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 participate. And, uh, and, and actually one has uh, uh, and, and, and been a good member uh, or, or good addition. There's at least eight to 12 uh, members of the public at those meetings every two weeks. And, and they are allowed the opportunity, have the opportunity to ask specific questions of what's being discussed that day. Uh, so so the, the, the process is out there and the, and the opportunity to, be, to participate and to be aware of what's going on uh, is out there. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and it's an open door. So I hope that, that those who, who really have genuine concerns about this will, will join in the work of trying to uh, uh, do the best job we can for our Kansans in complying with this federal law and keeping options open, uh, which I think is, 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 I think is the best plan that we can go forward with today. It's the only plan that makes sense for me. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank would you, you, would you agree, Mr. Bradford? Thank you. Next, we got a representative hammer.